Okay, guys, um, I'm sneezing. Uh, I hope it's not a cold. Um, anyway, so, okay, the recording has started. So I'm going to share my screen quickly. I don't mind if it looks like I'm looking away. I've got two screens, and the one that I'm coding on is in front of me. So, okay. Cool. So now, okay, it's my screen is, is up. Um, okay, so we're here <coughs> today. Uh, this is the tutorial. So building a Python package, okay, uh, or building Python packages, right? Uh, of course, we'll, we'll give an example with one, but this should allow you to be able to build any kind of Python package. Uh, so we're here. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> so what I've just done now, right? If you see here, it says two uploads complete, right? Um, I've uploaded a build.sh file, and then I've uploaded a Python packages.7zip file. Uh, I hope you'll be able to extract this. Otherwise, I can uh, <clears throat> I can upload it as a different package uh, let's see i can yeah let me just do it as a zip many people can do zip i'm used to using 7zip so if you don't have 7zip installed you can just use this one you could just use this one okay so um you don't need this this is you know in case you struggle this is like the final product um, that you can use to test uh, but will be going through the whole process to create this, All right? And I've also shared, so inside this build.sh uh, uh, file, I've shared this link, right? Uh, it's in the official uh, python.org uh, website. And I think I've also shared it here in the comments, right? That's the link. So really it's a tutorial. Um, it's like a step-by-step -step uh, type of tutorial where we'll just execute instructions and, and see what we get, right? Um, so that's what you see <clears throat> in the build. Uh, it's not exactly for the seven lines. I mean, most of them are like, you know, LS, just to see what's there, PWD, just to see where we are. But I've also included uh, the link uh, for the tutorial in at the very top of the batch script, right? I've never tried to run this best script as it is, uh, but I'm putting it here so that you can just, you know, copy and paste the different commands, right? Um, yeah, I think it will be the easiest way uh, to do it. Uh, how do I get this? I didn't like really create it from scratch. Um, I executed all these instructions and uh, Ubuntu or Linux has a very handy command called history. I think for people who, uh, I mean, if you remember from deep learning, there was also a history uh, a variable there where you can figure out, you know, all the different steps of your of your model, right? So uh, Ubuntu also has this um, <clears throat> history, um, I'd, I'd say, command where you can see if everything that you've executed. So if I execute that, it will give me a bunch of things that I've executed, right? Um, I'm not sure how far back it goes, but it goes it goes far, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. So it's a, it's a lot of history. So if you, you are working on a terminal and you run a lot of instructions and you want to convert that into a batch script, you can just run history, copy it all the way to where you started to, to do that. And then you, you have something like this. You, of course, you'd have to remove this, <coughs> these lines um, and, 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 and empty spaces. But voila, this is this is it. I probably could execute it with very little changes and it could retrace all my steps. Uh, well, the issue is that um, this is not the only, uh, these are not the only instructions I had to run. Um, there is some 
manual work, uh, clicking around on a web page that I've had to do. So it won't be sufficient. Uh, it probably will fail because there's some manual work that needs to be done. Anyway, you have this uh, <clears throat> in the week seven uh, folder, right? You have it as a zip file and as a seven zip file. And when you extract it, you'll find it, but I've also for convenience also added the batch script uh, here, uh, which it comes from <clears throat> executing many of the instructions here, right? Uh, so I think maybe, you know, what I'd like us to do is just go through uh, all these instructions. Uh, you guys can go through with me um, and I'll explain what each thing is doing, all right? Cool. Uh, so, I've created this, I'll just, you know, uh, let's just remove this for now. Uh, right. uh, let's also remove this one. The, the zip. Okay, cool. So um, what I'd like us to do is just create a new folder for like the project that we're about to start. Uh, please, if you have any questions, if anything is not clear uh, at any point, uh, you can stop me and ask. Uh, you can stop me and ask, and then, yeah. Thanks, Daisy, for sharing the link again. You can stop me and ask, and then, yeah, and then I'll answer and we'll proceed from there, right? Uh, yeah, so let's let's try execute the instructions together and explain what each step is doing, right? Uh, it's best if you if you work with me because you know if you're going to try and do it alone, uh, it may not be so easy, right? Uh, okay, oops, 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 I need this. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're on the terminal here, <clears throat> and then I'm just going to create a project directory called Python packages. Or CD into it. So if you see uh, here, uh, is it possible? I think what I could do. Uh, uh, okay, I think it's possible. Just keep it here on the left. Oops. Just keep it here on the left. So it's easy. Um, no, it won't be possible. It needs to be. Uh, okay, I'm I'm using a terrible uh, terminal, so I won't be able to split the script. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, we can do it from here, right? So there's also explanations as to you know why are we doing what we're doing, right? So the first thing, so the first thing I want us to do is not actually this. So as you, I'm showing you here, right? You know, I have to create some directory. <clears throat> so here. Uh, Python packages. So what I, I created this after, right? And then I moved this directory into that. But, but just look at what I'm doing on the terminal. <clears throat> and if you're not sure, you can refer back here. But what I'm doing on the terminal now is, you know, uh, uh, better. Uh, it should be clearer than, than what is here, because this is in hindsight, right? So create that uh, Python packages and then create another Python, uh, building Python packages, <clears throat> this, uh, okay, let's see. So the, we shouldn't have this, so we'll just remove that. Shouldn't have this, right? Oh, okay, that's because I can double it again. Uh, it didn't delete it because I was using it. I was wondering why I left that far. Okay. Keep that. Oh yeah, so there's an easier way. So what I'll just do is I'll just uh, use Vim. <coughs> Open another one. Use Vim. Download. And the message. So I have that there. So I'll just switch between these two screens, right? It's, it's not as good as, a, as splitting the screens, but it works, right? Um, cool. So, so now it's empty, right? 
Um, and for now, so we only have, so even if I list here, even if I list here, we only have, you know, this one directory, right? Within, um, within our Python packages uh, folder, right? Cool. I hope that's fine so far. Uh, right. I hope it's fine so far. Okay. So we have that, right? And maybe let's do this. I'll close this. I'll close Visual Studio Code. And I'll just do code. Right, so that it opens in the parent directory, right? So we can see our Python packages folder is empty, our building Python packages folder is empty as well, right? Cool. Right, but what we want to also do now is, um, well, before we do this, before we upgrade pip, um, I think it's just a formality, just to make sure you have the, the latest, uh, you know, package of, of pip. Uh, so, which is, yeah, uh, it's, it stands for Python packages indexes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what I did first, uh, I just activated uh, my Conda environment, right? Um, okay, I made my Conda environment and then I upgraded my pip, right? So, you can, there's a way you can just copy here, right? And click that and copy and paste that. Right, uh, I removed the Python 3, uh, but even if you type Python 3, it should be fine. Uh, but because uh, of my environment, if I say which Python, if I say Python version, right, you see that I'm on Python 3. So this, when you say Python 3 like this, it's when you have multiple versions on your OS and you want to make sure that it actually executes Python 3. But our Python is already mapped to Python 3, so there's no need to put the 3 there, right? So just Python, and then you upgrade pip. So most of these instructions for me uh, will be redundant. Nothing will happen because I've already executed all of these things. Um, but yes, you please also do it for yourself uh, in case, uh, yeah, you haven't done it before. Right? I've done this, so you won't be able to see much uh, yeah, but you'll see you'll see uh, like some output if your pip is being upgraded. Right? Are we together so far? Okay, uh, since we're together, I think if we do <coughs> to phrase grab pip, uh, okay. probably doesn't work for. For Conda, yeah, probably only one so for people, but okay. Um, it is a Conda phrase. Does anyone know? Okay, now if we do Conda info, um, Conda, does anyone know? <laughs> uh, Conda list packages. Should, uh, Should be able to see uh, which version of pip I have there. Uh, will pip freeze work? Because I'm in Conda here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's it, it returned nothing. Uh, let's see if I do that. Okay. So why doesn't this work? Pip. It doesn't work. So it says I don't have pip here, which is in, which is which is not true. I do have pip, uh, but it's not listed. Okay, uh, let's not waste our time. That's besides the point. But the point is uh, our pip has been upgraded, right? Cool. Uh, thanks for the pip phrase works even for conda. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so okay, I think you could also do conda list, right? To see uh, all the packages within conda. There we go. Actually, this space nicely. So let's see if we can see pip there. Oh, there. So probably uh, the pip phrase didn't work because 
it shows us only what was installed with PIP, right? I suspect. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I guess I have, I'm just, I, I'm just trying to explain this part to say, you know, we're upgrading our PIP and then just want to see the version of PIP that we have. We are not doing a requirements file at this point. Uh, we probably won't, won't be doing it uh, for this uh, tutorial. So just forget about the requirements file, um, which is, you know, it's it, you use it to list uh, a, a number of packages that you want to install at the same time. But here, I just wanted to get the version of PIP, right? Which is uh, 22.1.2, uh, right? Probably I had something lower than this before I read that grid, right? That's just what I wanted to see, basically, to say that uh, this command uh, executed successfully. Well, um, so here, so now, okay, so now we have, uh, here, if you see, uh, we have an empty directory, right? Building Python packages directory is empty. You can see here, even our Python packages directory, so there's nothing, there's no files. So what we need to do is create a number of files, right? Uh, you know, this would be our project. So you can think of uh, your, pipe, your packaging tutorial, right, as any of your projects on GitHub or, it, or any of your projects locally, right? So what we're doing for this packaging tutorial could be done for your, uh, uh, what is it, your ASR, uh, Automatic Speech Recognition Project. It could be done for your uh, Web3 uh, Algorand project. It could be done for any of the projects that we've worked with uh, the, in this uh, in this uh, few months that we've been together, okay. well, this is a sample, but you can think of it as whatever, whatever you can do with the sample means you can do on your um, on your own project, right? You just have to figure out, you know, what is different, what what files do you need to add, right? And then you'll see um, <clears throat> you'll see eventually like uh, that actually what you need is the pipe project, but uh, two O M L, right? That's the most important file that you need, uh, which will contain all the specifications for the build process, right? So, uh, but let's start by creating like a dummy project, right? Which is, which contains this. Uh, to make it easy for you, right? That's why I added that, uh, that file, that, that build script, right? So if you see, uh, it's okay, so forget that part. Uh, if we go to, so, okay. Yeah, so this is what you need to execute now. So first, you, yeah, these are the instructions you need to execute uh, up until there, right? So it's a bunch of inst instructions. So uh, just let's see, okay, I'm missing something. So it's from here. I'll also paste this in, um, in the chat. Okay, I'm just going to copy this and paste them in the chat. Uh, so these are the instructions that you need to run just now. It's it's just creating this files here that you see here. Um, it's really not much. It's just creating this project structure, right? But what you need to change uh, before I forget is one simple thing, right? What you need to change here, you see, where you see Musa B, right? Uh, that's my name. Uh, you put yours, right? Uh, however you want, you want to, whether it's just your first name, your last name, or whatever, right? You put yours. So you replace Musa B with your name, as they're saying here. Well, that's what I've, did, I've done. So you use a name here. So you replace it with something so that it can be unique. Because we're going to <clears throat> push um, this. Um, uh, this package into pip so the we shouldn't have any clashes so that's why it should be unique so if you say example package uh something else it may clash because we don't know uh what the other packages how many people have played around with this uh simple, simple project right so just change this to your name as i've done uh here as you can see it's got my name i'm also going to need to change it again now right uh because it's a new project because i've already pushed my project so maybe to make it make more sense um 
is we'll just quickly go. Okay, we'll go to this environment. So do you understand what I mean? So we won't be pushing to the main, uh, you know, pypy.org, uh, you know, uh, repository uh, or, or package index. We'll just create like there's a test one that you can do. You can push to. Um, probably there's many other projects. You see, there's lots of other projects when people are are playing around testing things out, right? Uh, but of course, for production purposes, you wanna use the actual uh, pip, uh, pip index, which is this one, right? Which is this one. But because it's, we are playing around, we don't want to, uh, you know, and uh, projects which are not really doing anything here uh, and make it difficult for people to find useful packages, right? So when you do something much more useful, you push to this one, uh, but now, because we are just testing, we'll push to the test uh, index, right? Which is this one. <clears throat> so, uh, as you can see, I have I have my package that I've already pushed uh, earlier today, right? But now, because this already exists, I'm gonna need to change the name because we can't have uh, two packages for the same name, right? Cool. Um, in the comments, are we together so far? Okay, I don't see any comments, no one is saying anything, so um, silence must mean consent. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so if once you're done creating, uh, running all these uh, instructions that I've pasted, which you also have in in this uh, build.sh file, which is from here up until there, right? Then you should have, uh, so let me just also do this quickly myself so i can have the same thing just gonna copy and paste Let's see Let's cd into that uh, cd i didn't copy the next thing is uh, make source copy that uh, make source and then create the actual package. <clears throat> um, create the actual package. So you can, if you go to your, uh, your IDE, whichever one you're using, you see that, you know, uh, these are being created. Actually, I do think that source should be inside there. Let me see. Uh, I think source should be inside there, not outside. Uh, let's go and check. Should be inside. Yep, it should be inside. Uh, so if for some reason this is not correct, just make sure that it's inside, right? Because it's the source of your package. <coughs> so source is inside. Let's get money. Okay, maybe just the use must be. Let's see. Okay, it's inside. Okay. Okay, for some reason it doesn't want to show me. Okay, this is very weird. Okay, this is how it's showing me. I guess because they are empty or something. Okay, this is what it, we just didn't decide to do. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, but if we, if we do that this ourselves, uh, we'll go in there, also go in there. Uh, so <clears throat> this is where we are, right? We've created the source directory. So there's another handy command um, in uh, Linux, uh, in Ubuntu. I'm not sure if you know what the command is in the other uh, Linux distributions, which is tree, right? Which is, okay. Uh, probably need to go up here. If I say tree, it will show me the, my directory structure, right? So we've got this main directory. We've got, you know, this packaging tutorial one. And then we've got, uh, you know, this actual package and we've got a source, right? So you, if you do tree or if you view, um, however you view from your, uh, from your uh, operating system, this is the structure that you should see, right? 
this is you know our project directory for this tutorial and this is the package the package tutorial directory and this is the actual package and within that package we have a source uh, directory all right so that's where we are so far but i hope everyone is clear up until this point I guess I will get there. We'll get there. I just wanted to uh, give you like a like a heads up to say to, to explain why we're doing certain things. So we'll get there to uh, test the pipe, pipe pipe. We'll get there. But um, I just wanted to show you that that's where we're going to be deploying. So we'll get there. Uh, it's part of the tutorial. Okay. So we have that right. So according to here, so we have this. Uh, so we've got our source and we've got, okay, I think I got it the other way. Okay. So source and then this, okay. Um, sorry guys, I'm, oops, I messed up something. Uh, so <clears throat> it's source first, then example. Uh, so, so we just move out. That move what source, bring it here, and then move example package into source. Right? Uh, this is the structure that we have here. <clears throat> so it's so package, packaging tutorial source, and then this uh, actual package. And then within the, so I guess, um, yeah, I guess you could have multiple sources with, uh, I think maybe here they could. Yeah, I mean, intuitively, I would, I would have done it the other way around, right? But I think for them, they're saying each module basically is being uploaded as a um, as a as a project, as a as a, as a package that you can upload to P, to uh, to PyPy, right? I would have done it the other way around, but it does make sense here as well. It depends <clears throat> how you want, how big you want your each of your packages is uh, to be, right? Uh, you can actually have multiple, even here under source, you can have multiple uh, different uh, modules that you can upload uh, to, you know, to, to uh, the Python package index, right? So, so that's fine for now. Um, yeah, but you can play around and see, you know, if you can add more packages, etc., from within uh, the same directories, how that could work out, right? But in there, so there's two files, right? And if you remember, uh, in it, the pipe is just saying, you know, treat the the, the uh, directory and that I'm within as a package or as a module. So this is this makes it uh, in it the pipe makes it to be uh, Im importable, right? It allows this package to be able to be imported, right? So that's what it, that's what it's doing. So if you do, uh, okay, just show you. Uh, Okay, um, wouldn't be easy to show, but um, I think I prefer iPython, guys. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. The, the user interface is better, right? So if you say from uh, from drive circuit learn here, key learn import what what are the options? Is it pre processing? Okay, or we'll just found some package there, right? Airport calibration, right? So you can bet that within this calibration folder, there is an init.py, right? That's how we're able to import it. So that's what that part is doing, to say that if we have this file inside there, then this package can be imported, right? Cool. And you'll see it in action, right? So that's what we have. So now we need to create this, this two files because we don't have them. Uh, and in here, right, there's some simple commands, you know, it's the touch command. Uh, basically, it just creates a file. It doesn't do anything to it. It creates an empty file. So you can just also do that. Just make sure you're in the right directory. Uh, you should be, yeah, you should be in example package. Um, I would have to rename that for myself. <clears throat> so you should be in here, All right? Uh, so I'll create that file, right? So do ls, then it's there. 
And then the other file that we need to create is this one, this example.py. Okay, so it's been created, right? So what I need to do as well is just rename this new to, I'm just gonna call it, by the way, full name, okay? Cool. So now it's been changed because already I have Musa B package there. So they could be a crash. Okay. Uh, so if we do tree again, right? You see that within this uh, example package, we have example.py and we've got init.py as well, which makes this example package Musa Baloi app a module that can be imported. Right. I hope we're together so far. No comments, no complaints, no comments. Okay. So it's fine so far. This is this is where we are. So we've, we've done this part, right? Uh, and then here, of course, they're explaining, you know, well, what's happening there. Uh, but so if you check this file, check inside here. Okay, you see that it's empty, right? So we've got a... a, a, a a module here which is empty which doesn't do anything so when i give it you can just come here and copy and paste it here right so you, you know the example pie the pie doesn't do anything but now we've just created one small uh, function that just adds uh, one to any number that you give it right and returns it that's that's all it's doing okay so we have that <clears throat> and then now so there are certain files that we don't have, right? Uh, well, there's three files that we don't have. So if you see my tree here, if you see my tree here, you see that we are missing license, pyproject.toml, and readme.md. We don't have those files. So we need to create those files as well. And there's also a test uh, directory that we don't have, right? Uh, so we can just go ahead and create those. So I just did touch here and listed all my you know, empty files that I want to create. Right. Let's just make sure I'm in the right direction. So these files need to be inside packaging tutorial. Uh, so, so they need to be here. So just execute touch from within packaging tutorial. If I do ls, then I see all my files, even if I do tree here, then I see all my files, right? And so, so these are my files. These are my three files that I've just added, right? And I might as well, from this directory, right? From this directory, I might as well add this test file uh, directory as well. So now I have a source and I have tests. Okay, I hope we are all together for now. So it's the same structure as this. So if I go to packaging tutorial, which is okay, that's where I am. And you see that, you know, packaging tutorial, and I've got two directories and five files, right? Two directories and five files. We brought together so far. Okay, so that we've already created. Now, the most important part of this, uh, which is probably new to many people, is this pyproject.toml. Right, this is what uh, sort of dictates how your project gets built. Right, the most important. So, what's important here is that we, there's this thing, uh, so called front ends and back ends. Right, uh, yeah. So, not in the sense of web development, uh, which is what we've been looking at uh, recently, but your front end would be like pip, which is you know the 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 um, that's the build tool that we're using, right? The, you know, package manager that we're using, and the back end, which is you know, um, uh, the, the the system that actually creates the packages, right? Uh, the tool to use to create distribution packages for your project. Right? So the back end, there's a few examples that they have here. For this tutorial, they're using what's called Hatchling. Um, yeah, I don't know about Hatchling. I'm used to setup tools. Uh, but there's also something called Flit and PDM, and I guess there's apps, right? Uh, so, which is why, but I don't think there's much of a difference because it seems that the 
uh, the syntax is the same, right? So I've what I've done is I just selected setup tools instead of Etling. Right? So in here, just select setup setup tools, and you could be this setup tools uh, content, so the build system, right? Which actually builds, uh, could takes you the build system basically takes you um, your code your code that you've written and converts it into a package that you can uh, you know execute, right? Uh, so that's basically what it does. <clears throat> you may liken it to, I mean, if you guys, you know, if you know C++, you may liken it to CMake, right? Uh, CMake is one of the oldest uh, build tools uh, that we have. It's quite powerful, uh, but this is for C and C++. Uh, so that's something similar, right? So like you build a system, that's what CMake does. It, it takes your code and then it builds it. Uh, it can build it uh, for, I mean, for, for our case, we're building for Python, but you could be building for Windows. You could be building like um, packages that are being used by the operating system. You could be building for Mac OS, you know, yeah, your uh, Mac OS packages like end with the, the PC, PKG or the uh, DMG. Uh, you could be, you know, you could be building uh, for a lot of different, uh, you know, um, languages and operating systems, right? That's what a build system does, right? It takes your code and makes it in such a way that, you know, it's it's maybe compiled so that it can run on, on a particular environment, right? So our package, we're building it so that it can run in the Python development environment, right? Not necessarily for the operating system, but you can do it for the operating system. You can do it for mobile devices, iOS, Android, etc., right? Using this build uh, system type of uh, tools, so for now we'll use <coughs> our setup tools uh, to do that, right? Um, and it's got two two main important things: which is requires and build back and run. <coughs> so here it just depends on you know setup tools only. So our package really um, it has no dependencies. So requires has dependencies. So so say for example uh, here. You are building this. Uh, maybe, maybe you need uh, I don't know uh, SciPy, for example, uh, or, or some other package which comes, um, you know, that that you, your your project is using, right? Then you might want to specify it there so that when the build tool is executing, it actually makes sure that that content is included in your package, so that your package can be able to use it, right? But here, it just depends on setup tools and nothing else. Right. Um, hoping we're okay we're together so far. Okay, so it only depends on that. And then the back end is set up tools, uh, build meta. That's the back end for it, right? Cool. So that's the those are the two parts. So what we want to do is we want to copy this. You can click here. Actually, clicking here is advisable, right? Um, I'm not sure if that it still happens now, but uh, previously uh, at some point that. Um, you know, uh, cyber hackers would actually uh, put code here that you can't see, right? And hide code behind code. So if you copy the code and you paste it, then you may find that it's executing other things that you didn't see, right? So that's why this is, is more preferable because it allows you to copy only uh, this. It doesn't put whatever is behind uh, the text, which could, could harm your system. So use this if you're copying from a website. Oh, you know, <coughs> Well, we also have the same thing here. Um, where is it? Okay, I, I didn't have the this I did uh, my mind. So you go to your environment, right? And in your environment, there is this, you know, pyproject.toml, paste that, right? You save, and, and, and that's it. That's all you have to do for now. Um, I've explained what requires and the back end are, but there's still more right, that you need to do. So there's also this content, right? There's project URLs and there's the project itself, right? So copy that as well. You can just paste it behind under underneath, right? Build system. So now we have three sections. We have a build system, we have a project, and we have some information about the project, the project URLs. So here for name, right? Remember what you called your project, right? Mine this time is called Musabaloi. Example package Musabaloi. So make that change there. Uh, you can also make changes here. You have the author, so put in your name. 
put in your, your email address. Put mine there, right? Cool. And then you can, you know, ex yeah, change some other things um, that, that you want to change. If you want to explain what your project is doing, uh, you can change it there, right? Uh, if there's other things that you want to change as well, uh, see, I think these are like tags, right? See, this is Python 3, the license and MIT license, the operating system. It just means, you know, you can run this on any operating system, right? Because it doesn't depend on the operating system. It's a Python package, and Python can run on any operating system, right? And then where's the project? Uh, so here they're using uh, this, uh, you know, sample project. But if you push, if you push this code, right, if you push this code into GitHub, uh, you can use that, you know, put the actual uh, GitHub URL for it. And if you have, you know, also the issues uh, section of your, uh, of your GitHub uh, page, right, you could do that as well. Uh, but we don't need to do that for this one. Uh, we just take, you know, more time, but it's, it's really, uh, it won't stop us from actually demonstrating what we need to demonstrate here. So your your project your pi project of toml should look like this, right? I hope. Well, with the actual changes that you need to make, right? My details should be replaced with yours. Okay. In the comments, if, uh, are we are we okay? We're all together. Okay. Cool. Since we're all together, <clears throat> cool. So we've done that, and you know the you know the different things. Uh, there's really not much to explain except the project name is the name of your project, uh, which is this one. Uh, well, uh, which is this one, right? The, this directory within source. Um, and yeah, everything else, yeah, there's not much. It requires Python, so, you know, it won't run for any Python version, at, you know, under 3.7, for example, right? This is something you could have you know, figured out because you're using certain things in your code, which are only available from uh, Python 3.7. Right? And you do have a readme for that, which, you know, for now with us, we have a readme, but it's empty. And we have a license, which is empty. So this is, I think, what we're going to be adding now. So this is just a sample readme. Okay, copy it as well. Just uh, copy paste. All right, the sample readme, you can put whatever you want, explaining your project. And then the license here, just put it inside license, paste that, right? Cool. So we have, so we have a written new, we have a license, right? Uh, don't worry about, you know, what, what's in there for now. We just need to have a license and a written new in order to publish this uh, package. And now they're saying if you, including other files, right? Um, like I was saying, you know, if, uh, where's that? But uh, like here, I was saying this, you know, requires this. It doesn't require anything else. But maybe, you know, <clears throat> uh, what it requires here is installable by Python. But maybe you want to also include, um, you know, an actual, you know, folder, which, you know, uh, could be like a package which is not installable by pip where it's just a directory or something that you want to add so this is you know to say that if you want to include other files as well you can also do that right yeah, maybe it's data that you want to add maybe you know sample data i mean you do know that you know i think scikit-learn and even tensorflow they come with sample data sets maybe you want to add a data set for example do that um so now there's other things that we need to look at um so the pip that we have, right? Um, let's see, probably mine, uh, if I do pip there, what do I see? <clears throat> okay, so it's got a bunch of things that I can do with pip here. Uh, there's you know, install, download, uninstall, freeze, etc. cetera, right? Uh, but I think, yeah, so this, that's it, right? But it doesn't have build. I don't see build here, right? There's no build. So the normal pip that you have, doesn't come with, you know, build, right? Uh, so you have to install like, you know, like a build sort of tool, right? Uh, there. And then the other tool we need to also install is try, right? Which, you know, we installed in uh, through, through uh, pip as well. 
but these are like other tools that 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 we actually need uh, to be able to build these packages. Right. So I have the, so you can just copy this code by right here because I think everything else is done. You need build and you need try, but for now let's start with build. Uh, so where are we here? So upgrade and we install. Uh, probably we don't need upgrade anymore because we didn't run that. Uh, so I think now everything we're doing, right? Well, it doesn't really matter for this part, but I think everything we're doing is we're doing it within the packaging tutorial, right? But because this is just the an environment thing, ooh, okay, I think I did forget some. Okay, no, I didn't. It's, it's not, we're not there yet. Just check something. Okay, we're not there. I think we're not there. <clears throat> so, so this. So I thought maybe we need to install this in a in a virtual environment. But I think we can install it in our base environment. It should be fine. Uh, so just go ahead and install that. So build. Thing. And in the interest of time, I think we can install build and try at the same time. Should this, this should work? Okay. Uh, upgrade paid install. You know, um, build and try. So, try is installed, and build should also be installed. Let's see. This is installed. Right, so they're both installed, right? Good build that's installed, and we've got try, right? So try. So build <laughs> is for um, actually, you know, helping you to actually build. Your, your package, right? So remember, we have a package, we have a package here uh, that does, you know, some amazing mathematics it as one to any number that you that you get, right? It's amazing. But, you know, you, there's no way that we can share this package with anyone else, right? Whether it's within your company or outside in the, in the, um, in the world, right? So we need this build tool to do that. So we need to make sure that we are within uh, this directory, right? Uh, well, within a uh, packaging tutorial, we do ls, um, and I think, let me just check. Just give me one sec. I just want to make sure. Just give me a sec. Okay, I want to make sure that <clears throat> I know with this. A file gets generated, so we need a case okay, so building. Okay, so it does get generated within the pack, the actual package. Okay, that's fine. So this is where we need to run it. Uh, so we need to be in there, and we just run Python minus m build right. So it will build if, if yeah, of course, yeah, it should it should be within here because this is the package, um, the pipe project. This is the configuration file that it depends on. Uh, so it should be in here. So it will create a distribution package, which it will also dump into the current folder. Right. So we build that. Yeah. So people are still following so far. Okay, so, okay, so you've seen, <coughs> you can see uh, there's a lot of output here, right? It explains to you exactly what it's doing, right? You know, you can take your time and read uh, after the tutorial, see what all the different steps that it's it's doing, right? 
Um, but yeah, it's created two uh, packages. It's created this, you know, source uh, package. And it's also created this one, this thing called a wheel, right? Um, it's just, a wheel is just um, another way to distribute packages uh, in Python. Um, I think it's, it's an improvement to, from something they call egg, uh, so dot egg, right? So now they've got this dot uh, wheel, right? Uh, you can read up about the details of, of that later, right? But here, you know, you can also have this if, because this you can, you know, Pip uses this, but you can also use this. But the this package you can actually also, you know, just download and build yourself. So it's it's it's, it's quite, actually quite quite common with, uh, you know, make, uh, see make and, and make, you know, uh, with make files, etc. You can actually do that a lot. Um, yeah, but even here you can actually have the package as a source file and you can build it yourself, right? But this makes it easy, uh, where you can just use pip to install it. Uh, but I think pip also falls back on this. It can also install from uh, a, a, a zip file, a type of GZ file, which is also just a compressed file, right? Um, okay, that's it for now. So we've built, right? So if we come here, we have this, right? Just a distribution package. We have a wheel and then we have a source, a source file, right? So now we have three directions there, right? Um, I do think actually you could, you know, put this outside. Um, mostly, yeah, so, so that you can actually clean, right? Uh, there should be a way to specify. Um, let's see, do you help? Yeah, there should be able to, way, a way to, yeah, you see here, you can actually specify an out directory, right? Uh, so most of you would see, uh, you don't want to build, you don't want to have your build uh, directory within your code, right? So you want to put it somewhere else, right? But here it's fine, it's, it's, it's a test, we're building out inside here. Right? So that you know that this is a file that's being generated, so you can delete it. So imagine if, if you're committing to GitHub, you don't want to commit this, because this is a generated file. So you can specify an output directory and put it somewhere else, right? But for now, we have it here, it's fine. Okay, so now we have those three directories. This is our distribution directory and the actual source code and the tests. And we've got our, our three uh, files, right? Lessons, <coughs> uh, how to, how the build, uh, you know, happens, all the specific things that inform the build and, and the readme to inform uh, the users, you know, maybe how to work with the package, et cetera, what the package does. Okay, so done that. Um, so the other thing we need to do is done all those things. Uh, so now we've built it, right? We've built it, we've got two different types of uh, distributions uh, that we can use. <clears throat> now we need to upload, um, you know, the distribution. Now we need to upload this files that we've created, right? These two files that we've created here, right? The wheel and the, and the tag of GZ. And that's where time comes in, right? Try and, uh, try and allows us to, to you know, upload uh, our, 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 our project um, packages into, uh, into you know, the Python package index. <clears throat> Except this time we're going to be using the test version of it. So I guess before we come here, before we try to upload, we need a space to upload it. So there's a link here. This is the test version of uh, the Python package index. I'm going to put it here. Um, <clears throat> so, so you go to it, right? So you go to this, you open this. Okay, so, uh, okay. So if I've already registered, but you need to just register quickly. Okay, just go to register. I'm going to put in all the details. Create an account, name, etc., and a strong password. Okay. Just gonna wait for you guys to do that. Let me let you know when you're done. Just create an account there. Just create an account there. <coughs> so Okay, now log back in. I've got my account. 
think uh, when you create your account the first time, let's see. Yeah. Okay, there's gonna be an area. So in uh, test the PyPy manage account, if you go to the very bottom, once your account is created, so you probably, you have to confirm. So you go into your email and confirm uh, the account. Once you're done, you come back here to your account, you sign in, and there's this part here where you add an API token, right? Add API token, and you just give it a name, right? So just so like test API token, something, whatever you wanna call it, right? And then you say for scope, you say in the entire account for all process. This API pro uh, token will be used for all uh, of your projects, right? I think you can probably decrease the scope, but for this project, let's just say, you know, all projects, right? And then you add the token and don't, don't move away uh, from that. Um, yeah, so what's gonna happen? So you have to, uh, uh, the token will be generated. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, uh, cat dot, so buy something. Pi pi IRC, right? So you get something like this. You get uh, like a token like this, right? There. So you need to save it, right? Make sure uh, you, you copy it and you put it in a safe place. Normally for these kinds of things, what I like to do, I just screenshot it, just you know, print screen. And, you know, obviously, you know, you, you couldn't rewrite it because it's very complicated, but just so that you, you can have it because once you lose it, you can never reclaim it, right? Uh, you can do that, you can copy it and put it in your, uh, in your in your Google Drive or wherever you save important files, right? But what you also want to do, right? So with that, um, you know that token, you want to create this file, this PyPy RC file, right? So this directory doesn't exist. It's a directory. No, no, this is a it's a file, right? It had, it's in your um, in your root, right? It's it's here. Uh, it's a yeah, so it's a, it's a hidden file, right? So it's here, right? It's in your home directory. So you need to create this file. You can do, do it the same way we've done it. I think there should be an explanation here. Yeah, you could just do this. You just use touch, right? Just touch and paste it, right? And it will create this file in your home directory. Once that's done then you, you have to create the same thing that I have here, except your password is gonna be the, the token from here. So let me know when we're, if we're still together. Yeah, you, you probably can, uh, Michael. Uh, do you think uh, set up the pie is easier? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've, yeah, I've, I've never built uh, actual packages with set up the pi. Um, but yeah, when so let's see. Um, Okay, so it also depends on setup tools, right? Which is what we're using here. Um, <clears throat> you see, yeah, so, and then this is, this is how you specify the setup. Uh, it seems quite similar, uh, except, you know, this is, you know, of course in a, uh, in a Python package. Uh, so you see, all this content is the same, right? You can see, except, you know, URL, except the way we specify things here in the pi project but a tunnel, this is a, a YAML type of file, right? This is a configuration file. It's not a Python uh, file, 
right? I mean, for things like this, I prefer configuration files over code, right? Um, I don't know. It's, it's really up to you, right? And you've got your readme here, which is also what we have here, right? Um, yeah, so you could try it. Um, you could really try it as well. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how, um, you know, how the, how, you know, the uh, you know, Python package index would, would read that and what it actually need um, to execute that. I see. Um, and did you, um, did you upload your project to, to the Python package index? Michael? Okay, so maybe try it, you know, uh, maybe try uploads to, uh, to the Python package index and see if, if it can work. All right, if it can work, then, then great. Uh, but yeah, maybe it's worth trying if you find a setup on Pi much easier. Uh, but I think this is also as is, I think probably because you're seeing it for the first time, it, it looks difficult, but it's really not. It's really not. Yeah. So try it, you know, install, try in, and, and see if you can push. Um, yeah, so the link is, is inside. Um, I've shared it here. I can share it again. No, 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 that's the wrong one. I'm trying to do okay. But it's also in the build.sh uh, uh, file that I've shared with you. Yeah. It's, 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 I think it's here at the, at the very top. Yeah, there, there it is. I've also added it there. Right? But we're almost done, right? Um, so if, even if you set up, the, uh, you know, set up the Pi, uh, you probably have to create all these this things, right? Because because the the site has to identify who you are, it has to ascertain, you know, a, a particular user, right? So you, you need these things, right? You do need those things. Um, so you let me know if you're done with that, um, and so you create this. Uh, you know, uh, pi pi rc, right? A uh, configuration file, you put your username, uh, you put your password, which is your token. Hopefully you've also saved uh, that that token somewhere safe and you put it in there, right? So it must look like that, right? Uh, well, but but even if you don't, uh, if this fails, I'll, I'll show you another way. They actually have another way here, <clears throat> but it's, it's more cumbersome. I prefer doing it as in a configuration file, right? So if you do that, that's fine. Uh, then what you need to do is you need to, okay, to be in that directory with uh, the distribution, right? With, which is, you know, your file which has been built, right? And you just run this. Just remember we've already installed time. You run this command. Okay, let's go here. <clears throat> we, you know, I have my environment. Okay, so I'm still gonna just use Python, right? And we invoke the try method from try the try module from try we want the upload uh, you know method to which repository test on PyPy, and what are we uploading everything that's in here in our disk, right? And uh, should be fine. Just wanna make sure that. Um, let's see that I'm uploading the right package. Okay, yeah, this is the new one. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, so upload that, right? It's running, right? It's uploading, right? So, okay, it's uploading, then we're good. So, what I, I want to do is actually do this. <coughs> Uh, remember we have this file. Uh, let's just move it to uh, 
uh, would say, right? So let's say we don't have that far, right? And oh, it's gonna be more difficult, okay? But let's see, because I've already done this. Um, so let me run it again and see what happens. Yeah, so you see here, you'll ask for a username. So let's say you don't have that configuration, but I'll ask for a username. And I think here they're saying, is it? Um, your username, um, it's okay. So yeah, it's the same. Yeah, so you put in token, right? Put in token and for your, for your password, it's exactly um, <clears throat> the contents of uh, so kit. Yeah. Pi, save. So your password would put this. Right. So it should fail because I already have a package by the same name, or maybe it will create a new version. Okay, it failed, right? Not because I'm not um, signed in. I'm signed in. Um, forbidden, invalid, and non-existent authentication information. Okay, I don't know. But that's another way of, of you know, authenticating and then uploading that. Right? But we've seen that with uh, with this, uh, with this, uh, just move it back. Uh, with this configuration file, I was able to uh, upload successfully, right? As you can see here, right? So now this is where our package is, is, is gonna be installed. It's gonna be uploaded. So let's see. Let's see if we can view that. Okay, do I have two things that are open here? Okay, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, but you see now, uh, in in my uh, in my account, I have, I have I have this package which has been so you can even download the files. There's a time. There's a will. Uh, project description is the same. Uh, release is only have one. That's it. You see, it's been uploaded. Now it's been uploaded, and they're saying that I can install it, you know, using pip, uh, and 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 installing it this way. But the, this is, you know, the uh, dash i um, is also, I think they're using either dash i or dash index. So here, the dash index URL, right? So this is to specify because when you, when you install, right, a normal package, if you don't specify this uh, URL, it's, gonna ass it's going to assume that you're using the actual uh, pip, um, uh, Python package index, right? The official one, which is this one. It's going to assume that, uh, which is not this one. Uh, then I close it. Uh, okay. Which is this one, right? It's going to assume you want to download from here. But because we are using a test, uh, you know, environment, we need to say it's a download from here. Basically, that's why we need to specify the uh, okay, so then just projects. So this is my second one that I've that I've uploaded. But I hope we're together up until this point. Everyone has been able to upload their their package. Right? So once you've done that, um, right? So you've done that, you've uploaded it, um, you know, with with Trident, of course. Now you need to, um, you know, install it, right? So that's why, so now we're done uh, with, with this um, tutorial, okay? So, well, this part of the tutorial, right? Which is the building part, right? So in the uh, file that I've uploaded here, in here I have two folders. So the one folder is building Python packages and the other one is testing Python packages. Okay, so let's just see the internet. The reason why I did this, uh, <clears throat> the reason why I created two different files, uh, two different directories, is that if I try to test uh, for this uh, package, right, from within it, 
um, how do I know for sure that I'm actually not using what I already have here, right? How do I know that I'm actually pulling uh, from 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 here, uh, from here, right? So I wanna be sure. So I'm I'm creating a clean folder. So I'm sure that it's not using what's in here, right? It's using, you know. So this is this is clean. It's it's already it's definitely going to to the internet to, to pull the package, right? That's why I want it in a, in a clean a new folder. Right. Cool. Uh, so that's there. That's done. Okay. No, actually, now we need to install it, right? Um, and I think that's when we need to create a new environment, right? Because we want to make sure that we're installing this in our base uh, Conda environment, right? Uh, so I think just to, if you've got Conda activated, just to Conda deactivate, right? So now we're here. So Oh, actually, my bad. Uh, <clears throat> before we do that, we need to create this environment because uh, the end is is in Python three, <coughs> which is in our Conda environment. So let's create this environment first. Okay, so we have that environment, and then now we can, I think, just say deactivate that same Conda. Okay, okay, so you say that, but here we have this environment, right? We can activate it. Uh, so it's a um, source VN bin activate. Okay, so now our new virtual environment is active, right? It's a clean environment, right? Um, it's a clean environment. This is all we have in that environment. This is what's installed in that environment, nothing else. All right. So what we want to do, we want to install our package that we've just uploaded to the test, um, you know, uh, to test the PyPy, right? So you can just copy this as well. Or it's, I think it should also be in the build. Uh, I can't have my build here. It should also be here. It should also be here. Right, but then of course you have to specify <coughs> your username here, right? The username that you use. Uh, and version was still at zero point zero one, right? Uh, version is zero point zero one. Let's specify that, right? Okay, so paste that. Change my username. Okay, what else? That's it. So here you can see either index url or dash i it should work the same right cool okay so looking in there right collecting downloading installing collected package successfully installed right then we're good we've, uh, we've just uh, created a package put it on in in the test um uh, what do you call it um I guess the test mirror of you know PyPy, and and now we've just installed it, right? But we need to test, right? So you could use, I prefer IPython. Right? Use IPython. Well, okay, Python won't work here. But if you activate Conda, you say IPython, right? You should be able to say import this, right? So you see. Um, one thing to note is that uh, this is how we named our package, right? But uh, what, you know, uh, PyPy has done is actually it's renamed it. Uh, instead of a, a hyphen here or a dash, it's put an underscore, right? Because you cannot import a package like this in Python. So it's, it's renamed it to be like this. So wherever you see a hyphen, it will be uh, an underscore, right? You see here. Even there, it shows you that there's a problem with this package name. So instead of a hyphen or a dash, you use an underscore, right? So actually, it's not import, it's from. We want to import everything. We import, uh, if we do, uh, okay, let's see. Is it there? Okay. It's not, it's not showing, it doesn't complete. Import example. From import example should be there. 
can just check from that import example. Okay, it's false. Oh, okay, now it's probably because it's a different environment. Uh, so Conda doesn't have it. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's use the same thing because it's in our virtual environment. It's not in Conda, so IPython is in Conda, so that's why I can't find it. Okay, so let's do that. Ah, you see, so it executed successfully. No errors, right? Um, so it's, it's you are able to use it. We are able to import it, for example. And then now we can use it. We can use there's a this is our mod, uh, our module. Our module remember has one function in it, right? It only has add one. So if we do example add one, so we add one to hundred, right? And we get one one. So it works. Our package works. Uh, so you can improve the functionality, you know, make it as robust uh, and as interesting as possible. Uh, even you know, for your JS um, applications this week, you could you could uh, build it. Um, I think you, the challenge asks you to build it and deploy it and and push it into into uh, you know the Python uh, package index, and you can so anyone can use it this way uh, with amazing functionality. Uh, something more more important than just adding two numbers, right? Cool. Uh, are there any questions so far? Um, and is that clear? Um, what what we've talked about so far? Uh, Daisy, you are unable to paste your password to the terminal. Uh, did you copy it when you? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, yeah, so you should have copied it when you created it, right? Uh, so if I go here, no, it's not that. my account. If I go to my account and I create my API token, right? when you give it a name and you say, you know, whatever scope you want to give, you actually, it's, for now, it's entire scope and you add token, you must copy that, that token. So I was saying that don't use, don't paste it. Like I was just saying that there's another way of doing it, but I I, I still prefer that you create this file and you you add this there instead. It's it's by far the easiest way where you don't have to keep pasting your password on the terminal over and over again. So you need to create something like this. Create this a PyPy RC file. You add your use, username will always be token, and then that's your password. Which is different from everyone, yeah. But uh, Daisy, if you, you're not able to get help, uh, you can uh, you know contact us via Slack, and we'll assist you. Um, okay. Is there any anybody else? Um, I know I've, I've gone um, above the time. Um, I hope you, yeah, but I was just <clears throat> hoping that, uh, yeah, you, you were able to get, uh, you know. Uh, Anastasia, your hand is up. Yes, yes, that, that, that was a great tutorial. Just a question from me. When we are doing this packaging, do we have to do it at the end of the project or can you start with this kind of uh, just structure and then now you do your code later? I think you can start with the structure, right? And um, because um, it's either way, it depends on, on your style, right? I think the structure is really, so you see here the source is in your source directory anyway, uh, and your test is your test, right? So the, the only thing that's different is this file, right? It's this uh, pyproject.tunnel file. That's the only thing that's different, essentially. Uh, and also, you see this init.py, we've always been using it, right? So, because even when you are running locally from your, um, from your project, you always, we've always put init.py. So, the only thing that's different really is this file. So, if you want to edit early, you can edit. 
uh, but maybe as you add features, right? If you are always pushing, if you're pushing to, uh, you know, to the to the package index, right? Uh, so, for example, you have the same name, right? You have the same name of your package, but maybe what you want to do is, uh, where is it? So here you see this is 0 0.01, right? Maybe you want to change the version, right? So you push the first time, it's this one. The second time you push, you know, it's, it's just, you know, just keep changing the version so that you know you are at the latest, latest version if you are developing um, while you, um, if, while, if you are pushing, if you are, you know, push building the package while you are developing, just make sure that maybe you change the version so that you know which version it is. Uh, and so that I guess maybe there's no duplicates on, on the package uh, index. I'm sure that answers it. So it depends on your style, but the only difference really is this uh, pipe project of terminal file. Um, and the rest is, you know, how you actually develop. And maybe what you also want to do, make sure that the disk is not within this package, right? Because if you are pushing to your code to GitHub, right? Or you can use Git ignore, or you can put it outside, right? Uh, remember, we have, uh, what was that? Uh, we did help for build. Uh, uh, let okay, let's see. Okay, so if you remember, we had an output directory, right? So maybe you want to move this uh, output directory outside. If not, you can still use git ignore. Uh, but yeah, I think it depends on your style, uh, what, you, what you prefer. But yeah, you could you could do it while you, you build your project. Actually, maybe maybe that's the best way, right? While you work on your project, so each improvement, uh, you make sure that uh, you have it as a package uh, in the uh, package index. I'm not sure if that answers your question, Anastasia. It does. It does. Thank you. Maybe one final question. So for that, just uh, pipe. Should I say projects or what? If like for now, can I install the package you've just created since it's in the test PyP and not in their in their um, official PyP? Yeah, yeah, I, th I think so. I think yeah, you can, you can. I mean, we've just done that here. You can maybe even for for production and for big companies, it's you know you don't want to you want to use it an actual environment. Uh, but you can do it. Um, we've just done it here. We've installed it from test PyPy, right? You can do it, but I mean, if you're going to deploy, you know, maybe you don't want to use the, the test environment. Um, yeah, probably, I don't know what issues they have. Maybe it's not very secure. There could be a lot of issues, right? Uh, because anyone can push here, right? Probably in the actual package manager, maybe, even the roles are more stricter uh, in terms of uploading uh, new packages. Uh, but you can use it, right? As you can see, we've been able to use it. But if you, you want to productionize, maybe, you know, use the actual, but this is usable uh, from any environment. Okay, I get that. I was asking if uh, from my end, where I am, can I install the same package you've just built from your oh, end? Yes. Yes. You can install it. No, no, you can. I think this this should be public already. Maybe try it. <laughs> I think um, let's try it. It should work. Uh, well, let me do this quickly. Uh, what command did I run? So I'm just going to copy this. Guys, if you can try it, I'm going to put it in the chat. Uh, please let me know if you are able to access it. Just run that and let me know if it installs. It, sh it should be. Uh, I don't remember setting any permissions to say that it, it's not be, it should not be discovered. So this should be searchable by anyone. Uh, let's see. Just, you, you can let me know if you're able to. Just try that, this command here and let me know. See options, yeah, command 
Security history of collaborators. So sit us. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything that says uh, this package must not be discovered. It should be public. It works. Okay, perfect. Uh, the Wedros was able to run it. Uh, yeah, it works. So anyone can install it from anywhere. So if you also use the same for your project, then anyone can discover it and run it. Right. Uh, so let's see actually if we do, uh, because we believe that many people have looked up the, tried to run this, build this package. Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> see, there's lots of people. Let's see how many we're finding. Yeah, you see over 10,000 such packages, which are able to discover. It should actually just be people learning this tutorial and, and uploading, right? And giving it whatever names. So yeah, you can pick anyone here and install it. Let's see. Uh, okay. This looks like maybe the, orig the original sample. Uh, let's see if I can try and install it. Yep, seems to be working fine. So yeah, thanks for that question, Anastasia. It was a very good question. Thank you. Thank you. That was uh, really nice. Anybody else, guys? Okay. All right, no problem. Thank you, Stella. Okay, guys. Uh, Michael, you should try with setup and let us know. Um, yeah, but other than that, I think we can uh, call it a day. Uh, Daisy, if you're still having issues, uh, with your password, you can let us know on Slack. Uh, we'll do our best to assist. Cool. Cheers, guys. Oh, I'm going to stop the recording first time. <laughs> it's the first time me doing the recording. So I'm going to stop the recording and we can call it a day.